So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm showing um, when I previously, before I figured out the, the way you actually supposed to do the car, uh, this is what all I had to take apart to get the headliner down and get it out the car. And um, this is absolutely unnecessary to do this job. And I'm gonna explain later on in the video how you can do this without taking apart all these things like I did. And so you wanna make the mistake because I noticed there's no information about this on the internet. Um, so you'll be seeing later on, like I said in the video, the right way to do this. But this is just an overlook and an overview of how uh, you know what I did. So, but until the end, y'all just, just, uh, you know, keep the graphics. Uh, just turn the camera back on so y'all can see um, that you can't access the sunshade. I'm just taking out that rear glass without something else to see. I got a sunshade right there. So I already put the sunshade in, but I did it the hard way. I took the entire headliner down and took the headliner out of the car, the back seat, because there was no information on the internet to tell you how to do this. So I'm showing y'all now that you can actually get to the rear headliner from unbolting the glass. And that's the head, I'm, I'm sorry. The sunshade, this is sunshade right here. So you can see I already put it in. So I'm still trying to figure out why my roof not closing. And I'm gonna show it to y'all from the inside also. This is just to help people. Cause we need to help people to be able to, you know, work on these cars. Cause I know everybody can't afford to get them worked on in the shop. So all you really have to do is move this rubber. This rubber sits around this piece and you can access. Let me see if I can get y'all a picture where the bolts at. Yeah, so those are the bolts. There's, there's four of them across on each side. It's one, two, three, four. So you just move this rubber trim, this weather stripping, it goes like that, and you just pull it off, and you get access. That's what I do mine, you get access to the bolts. These are the bolts right here, that's what they look like. So just like typical summer bolts. And what I use is quarter drive, so I don't strip nothing. But you know, you can use what you want to use, but I would recommend quarter drive, because it's easier. So you don't strip nothing, you don't have to tighten them up super tight. And you see it's a, let me see if it focus. It's an eight millimeter. So I just got extension, a quarter drive ratchet, and an eight millimeter socket. So that's all you need to remove them. And like I said, it's four on each side. So like I said, I'm turning the camera back on, just let y'all know that you can get to this back sunshade, as well as the front. If you move the front glass, you can get to the front sunshade. So it's either or. You don't have to take the headliner down. You don't have to take the A and B and C pillars off. But however, this sunroof motor is right here. And I can't see it from the top side. So it looks like now I may have to drop the headliner down like I like I feared I would have to. But it may be my train of uh, attack. But anyway, I might have to start working on this other car uh, pretty soon. But all in all, um, I'm gonna keep y'all posted. It's just an update from what I was saying at first. I was letting y'all see how you can get to it. Cause it's, it's nothing on the internet about a CT6. All right, thank you. Okay, uh, this is a 2017 uh ct6 it's a 2.0 it's not the ct6v or the ctsv uh, this is a 2017 model and i've recently put the rear sunshade in if y'all can see you can see it works and you got switches in the front to where it's, it's labeled r for rear and um and f for front anyway i'm gonna um I'm gonna get into you know what the problem is and the reason why they made this car like this. This is a Cadillac, if y'all don't know what the CT class is. It's a Cadillac and uh, it was, uh, for some reason they put the actual front sunshade motor under this con uh, overhead console and they put the two, the two other motors, one for the rear, um, sunshade and then for the sunroof because the only sl sunroof the slides is, is obviously this front one and they put it in the actual rear back there rear left so i'm finna have to take the headliner back down again because the sunroof is stuck on tilt and it won't close i'm gonna see if i can get a get an accurate view of that you can see you press the f right there it's label f you press f and it opens and when you hit the switch, when you try to close the tilt, you can see the tilt is up. When you try to close the tilt, it won't. But when you hit the switch here, 
it does tilt like that. But if I come over here to where it says slide and I try to close it, it goes back to tilt position. Now, if I hit the switch, it opens the sunroof all the way up. As you can see, when I hit it close, it's gonna close it all the way back to the tilt position. See? So no matter what I do with these switches, whether I hold them or I try to um, go backwards with them, uh, of course we got all tail scan tools. Uh, there is no uh, synchronizer process. And I didn't see nothing on the internet. I seen one guy say that he synchronized his, but it wasn't a model like this with this shifter and this uh, exact console. This is a 17 model. Um, so basically I'm trying to teach everybody um, what you should do. And in order to access this, like if something was wrong with this front headliner here, you wouldn't have to take the headliner down. You would just have to take the bolts out this glass and then you'll be able to get the uh, the sunshade from the top because you can get the sunshade from the rear. The only difference with the rear is you there, there's no access point because even if, if you hit this, where it says you see right label R, if I hit the R, it's going to open it up. And you can get to the you can get to the top glass like that too. See right there where you can see the bolts and you know, the top glass at? Now that's technically all you have to do to remove the glass out. But to get to the actual motor, you're gonna have to remove the actual sunroof. I mean, uh, the headline, I'm sorry. Cause there's no other way to access it. When I first did this, I took apart everything cause I didn't know that. Cause most cars you have to move the headliner down. But actually in actuality, I didn't have to remove um, the headliner to get to that to, to that back sunshade. I could just move the glass out and then I would've been able to get to it front and rear. So they did give you that, but the reason why they put the sunroof back behind under the headliner in that spot right there, I have no idea. So now I'm trying to, before I take it back apart again, I'm gonna try to come up with another way that I think I can do it best. And then I, I'm gonna cut the camera back on. But more than likely what I'm thinking now, even if I move the glass, there's still no way to actually get to the sunroof motor because it's still under the headliner regardless. So if I move the glass, I will be able to see it, but I wouldn't be able to put no tool in there to get to it, you know? I think a shortcut would probably be to just take the back apart, take the back seat out again, and then remove the upper and lower seat pillars, but that's a lot of work still. And I might be able to drop the back of the headliner down, but that's only, you know, how much sway it's gonna give me, I have no idea. So it's probably gonna end up being, I'm gonna have to drop the whole entire headliner. That means the A pillars, about to come off the the top and lower B pillar and the top and lower C pillars and the back seat gonna have to come out. I don't have to take the front seat out this time because I'm not trying to take the headline out the car. So that's another issue that I'm gonna have to um, solve. But like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the camera back on when I get, um, when I figure this out and I continue the video. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna be the last part to the video. I didn't record um, taking the headliner down because I think the headliner would be self-explanatory. Move the overhead console, move the visor, move the A, B, and C pillar. And you do got to move the A, B, and C lower pillar in order to get the rear out, especially, as you can see. Um, two bolts on one side. Well, on both sides on those black piece, got the label airbag, seven millimeters. And all the bolts that's on the... Uh, actual ride handles those are you can use a torque i didn't use torque i used the eight millimeter on those and it's a t15 on all the torques which are saw it's one up here under this is one on the mirror and i the visor both are t15s so uh that's it um i end up going back here to get that that sunroof motor it's right there on the passenger rear side under the headliner and i had to adjust it i i used the a, a allen Four, like a four uh, Allen. I think it's a hex, a hex head Allen. And uh, once I adjusted the roof, it started back to moving the way it's supposed to. So that seemed to fix it for me. And again, for your those y'all don't know, this is a actually uh, a CT, a CT6. And it's a 2017 model, as you can see, I'm showing y'all a little bit. But this one is a 2.0. It's not a, it's not the big boy. Like I stated on the, uh, early in the video. 
But anyway, y'all have any questions, leave it down in the comment. I'm basically taking this car with a... The only thing I didn't take apart is the console. That's about it. Everything else I pretty much... The dashboard and the console, I didn't have to touch. Everything else I took now. I've even took the headline out of the car. I can help you with that if you want to know how to just take the full headline out. Um, but I'm going to end the video here. And like I said, y'all got questions, just uh, just drop them down in the comment box and I'll answer. Or you can email me. Well, actually, it's an email when you send a comment. to come in an email to my Gmail, so that's fine, too. But all right, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And again, this is for a 2017 CT6. There's no information on YouTube or on the internet about this vehicle. And y'all have a good day. And thanks for your time.